In this video, we'll discuss non-nuclear inheritance. If you've been learning about human genetics and inheritance, you've likely been thinking in terms of genes that are located on chromosomes that are housed in the nucleus. In this case, you see parents creating gametes, sperm and eggs, each containing half of the parent genome. And then when fertilization happens, the fusing of the egg and the sperm, the new organism has a complete genome half from the female parent and half from the male parent. Today we're going to talk about a different type of inheritance that happens with DNA that is not located in the nucleus. This is sometimes called non-nuclear inheritance or extra-nuclear inheritance, meaning inheritance from outside the nucleus. You may also hear it referred to as cytoplasmic inheritance. This hinges on the fact that some organelles like mitochondria and chloroplasts carry their own units of DNA. For example, mitochondria have their own set of genes carried within each mitochondrion. DNA in the mitochondria is called mtDNA, and it takes the shape of a circular plasmid containing 37 genes. 13 of these genes encode proteins, 22 encode tRNAs, and 2 encode rRNAs. The protein coding genes encode proteins that help the mitochondria function, primarily in the process of ATP synthesis. The tRNAs and rRNAs allow translation to take place in the mitochondria. Just as you see with the genes on chromosomes in the nucleus, mutations and deletions of mitochondrial DNA can lead to disease. For example, Leber's hereditary optic neuropathy is associated with the mutation of one of the protein coding mtDNA genes involved in building NADH dehydrogenase leading to a lower efficiency of making ATP. In nerve cells in the optic system, this can lead to neural degeneration and vision loss. Now how is the inheritance of mtDNA different from nuclear DNA? Well, during meiosis in females, the mitochondria of the cell divide as well and are randomly split up into the resulting eggs. As a result, the mitochondrial DNA passed on to each egg is random. Now look at the size of this egg compared to the sperm. The egg is much larger and contains a lot more cytoplasm, and therefore a lot more mitochondria. Furthermore, when fertilization takes place, the mitochondria from the sperm might not make it into the egg, and even if it does, it's marked for destruction in the resulting zygote. So the resulting offspring will only receive mitochondria from the cytoplasm of the egg and therefore only receive mitochondrial DNA from the female parent. This is a type of uniparental inheritance, uni meaning one, parental meaning parent, coming from only the female parent. Inheritance from only the female parent is called maternal inheritance. So all of the mother's offspring will receive their mtDNA from the mother, not from the father. So if we think back to the inheritance pattern of Leber's hereditary optic neuropathy, which we remember is associated with a mutation in mtDNA, a mother with the disease who mates with a father without the disease will have sons and daughters with the disease because their mother passes on her mutated mtDNA onto her children through her eggs. Alternatively, a father with the disease, who mates with a mother without the disease, will have all offspring without the disease because the father does not pass on his mutated mtDNA onto his children. The same phenomenon happens in chloroplasts, which you find in plants and algae and some amoebas. Remember that chloroplasts are the organelle that conduct photosynthesis. And just like we saw with mitochondria, chloroplasts carry their own DNA, chloroplast DNA, which can be abbreviated cpDNA. In most species containing chloroplasts, you see maternal inheritance, where the female parent is the sole provider of chloroplasts, and therefore chloroplast DNA, to the offspring. However, in some species you see paternal inheritance, meaning the male parent is the sole provider of the chloroplasts, or even biparental inheritance, which means both male and female parents contribute chloroplasts to the offspring. But on the whole, the majority of chloroplast DNA inheritance is maternal. So overall, what we've learned in this video is that mitochondria and chloroplasts have their own DNA. And typically, only a female parent will pass on mitochondria or chloroplasts to offspring. 
meaning the female parent is solely responsible for the mtDNA or cpDNA of the offspring. This is called non-nuclear inheritance because it deals with DNA that is not in the nucleus. And it is also called uniparental inheritance because, in this case, the DNA is passed on from only a single parent. If you'd like to learn more about how Carl Korins discovered cytoplasmic DNA in plants, you can see my video about that.